What's up, guys? If you have the time today, today this will be a good discussion in the comments section. Um, I want to talk about something. You ever notice when you do something great, if someone doesn't like you, they move the goalposts. It's like, oh, your 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 uh, your album just went gold in thirty days. Yeah, but uh, so did Taylor Swift, and she sucks. It doesn't matter if you love an artist or not. That's effing impressive. You're an effing hater. There's no ifs, ands, or buts to it. You're jealous. You're a hater. That's just my opinion. Let's continue. I, I want to talk about that for a second, and I want to talk about it why people do that. Here's a good example. This guy, by the way, comments uh, poorly about everything uh, all the time. <laughs> He's like a music, online music critic guy. One, yeah, one of those guys. Uh, and if he didn't act insufferable online, he wouldn't have even sold half of that. I get that it's hard to break through an oversaturated music industry, but picking fights with everyone from fellow musicians to average Joes and getting cozy with every controversial music figure who makes headlines has to be the most lowbrow way to market your music. See what I mean? They move, they move the goalposts. Homie, Facts. guys, that, me, me being me online, you guys are just not used to seeing fu people fucking talking back to you little bitch asses. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. Numbers don't lie. Or this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Or this. Crazy. Or even this. Ooh, look, an old one. Yeah, <laughs> an old one. Oh, look, the oldest of old. Sheesh. Even that. Yeah, please go on and tell me because uh, me talking back to you guys is the reason why uh spotify this has 950 million fucking streams that's i'm crazy. so tired of you guys moving the goal look me crazy. me and who i am talking crap doesn't has nothing to do with selling 270,000 tickets to my shows brother Facts. it's the music you just don't like the music it just comes down to that you don't like it you think it sucks that's fine. I get it. You like fucking what you like, which is anything that's not successful. And then the second it becomes successful, you figure out a reason why you hate on it, right? So here's a good example. Ziggy Stardust, when he turned, David Bowie turned Ziggy Stardust, it was crazy controversial. People were so mad and they would go crazy about it. Eminem, picketing at his rallies, call him homophobic, saying he's hateful, blah, blah, blah. Motley Crue. Do I even need to tell you about the controversy that Motley Crue has been through? Still got a lot going Obviously, on. everybody knows Metallica and how much hate they've gotten over the years. Not Music here. has, has its discourse. You cannot blame You cannot blame uh, the reason why Eminem got successful because of of him being a troll or whatever. It, it, it has nothing to do with it. His skill is the reason. That's why he's still the GOAT. Facts. So, yeah, Music Haystacks. I get it, dude. You're like you're like a, um, a uh, urban... Anthony Fantano. Can we do like a whole series where everybody starts rating the people that rate music, like this guy or whatever? <laughs> That's a good idea. That. Here's another good point I have. You ever notice these music critics, critics nowadays, they make YouTube videos and they rate albums? You know that that is obsolete, right? You know music critics are, are, are stupid as shit now, right? You don't need music critics anymore. Music critics started because they would get the album from the label before everybody got it. And then back in the day before music was streamed and all that stuff, when you had to go out and physically buy it, and then they would do it and they would put it in Rolling Stone and people would read magazines and go, oh, this got a bad review, just like movies do now. Because Yeah, true. Hold on real quick. Yeah, I mean, I worked as a DJ for a long period of time, over a decade, radio, clubs in New York City, and uh, some of you may know this, some of you may not. I've been in the Source magazine, I think, 11 times. So I, I get where he's coming from with it because of the fact that I would get, like, DJs and then the press would get advanced copies of the album. Whether it was to play certain songs, they would green light you to play. Or with the critics, you know, they would probably get the album and not be able to put their review out until a certain uh, date and time. Just like nowadays, it's like that for um, for some outlets still. There are outlets that get the albums early, but not like it used to be because a lot of these artists have a, a lot of control over their music, you know? And because of the fact that a lot of the music doesn't have to be turned in so far in advance, you know? There's artists that are turning in music months before the album releases so it's a little different everything's streamed it's digital yes 
people are putting out uh, physical pieces like he sells his physical pieces on his website what I mean by physical pieces is CDs and records and all of that you know um, but I do got to say reviews is something people enjoy watching so I will disagree with him respectfully you know I rock with Ronnie but at the same time man I'm not uh, effing sheep I'm not like a, a Ronnie worshiper you know what I mean but I love the music and I love it that he's a free thinker and I'm a free thinker too so um, I do disagree about music reviewers I don't really review music unless it's a band that I absolutely love like Metallica I reviewed the last 72 seasons album and um, I reviewed it because I love the album. I didn't review it to shit on the album, but there's a lot of reviewers I feel also that purposely shit on albums to get the views, to trigger the fans, to trigger the artist, you know? So uh, just my thoughts as we react to Mr. Ronnie Radke. Smash that like too. I'm moving, this setup is crazy right now. I know I'm just trying to put something together. I just bought a new house, so, you know, it is what it is. And my damn Instagram got hacked. My new Instagram is real. No, excuse me. It is Dell's Reacts. Like the channel. Let's continue. Can't go and, like, the public nowadays, you could just, the second an album drops, everybody hears it instantly. The second a movie drops, you, you, have, you have to go see the movie still. So Rotten Tomatoes is still... Like works, you go. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes give the give this a poor review. Blah blah. It might be bad, right? Nowadays, music critics hear it at the same time as the fans, and still do reviews. It's fucking stupid. Do you understand how dumb that sounds? That I, once again, I gotta disagree with that also because you have people that enjoy YouTubers that are content creators, and they want to hear their opinions on it. Yes, they're not musicians, singers, they don't have that kind of talent. And uh, reviewing isn't, not, not, isn't necessarily a talent, but at the same time, being captivating on camera where people actually want to watch what you got to say is, uh, is a gift, you know, where it's entertainment, right? Um, respectfully disagree with, with Ronnie. As I said, I rock with Ronnie, uh, but at the same time, you know, shit, I, I don't agree with this portion, what he's saying. That's the, you, we don't need you. You're just doing it for views. You're using people like bands like mine and other bands that are successful. You're, you, you're bottom feeding off of them so you get views and attention. Now, I think what he may also mean is that he's talking about the negative ones. The ones that, as I said a little bit ago, about a minute past, um, like the ones that are just destroying albums. Ah, this is trash. Like I seen Anthony Fantano shitting on uh, West Side Gun, Pray for Paris album, which to me is is one of the greatest hip hop albums in the past. I think five years. It released about five years ago. It's a great hip hop album. If you had never heard it, check out West Side Gun, Pray for Paris. That album, beginning to end, phenomenal. And he and he dogged it. And I'm like, there's no way that like he like. He's doing this for views. Like, there's no way he could feel that negative about this album. I mean, we all are going to dislike certain stuff, but if you love hip-hop, there's absolutely no way you cannot love this album. And if you had never heard the album, check it out. It's a great album. Let's continue. You suck. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey. Here's another good example. I checked this guy's page. He's like a failed uh, MySpace uh, queen or whatever. Still doesn't make it less shit. Numbers don't mean quality. Like think your IQ is so low if you think in a, your opinion dictates, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just your opinion. It's why, it's why, like I get it. Some, there's a whole subgenre that hates Imagine Dragons. I'm not particularly a fan of Imagine Dragons myself, really. right? But I understand as a musician, why people like some people like them correct yeah and you know he was mentioning about metallica earlier and talking about like like uh, how people are like some people are anti-metallica and metallica is my favorite band i mean i literally was born into listening to them as a kid so like they're they're very special to me and yeah they had their time where they had that one album and if you know the album that you think i'm talking about leave it in the description in the comment section it comments section excuse me uh 
And I'll give you a clue. It starts with Saint. <laughs> but uh, that album, they lost me completely. But then they regained me uh, as far as listening to the newer music. But a lot of people destroy Lars. Lars Ulrich, the drummer. Oh, he sucks. He's not as good as this drummer or that drummer. Well, guess what, man? This man has been putting out music for decades now, successful as a motherfucker. They are selling out stadiums worldwide. You cannot suck if you are that successful. You know, he may not be able to do the crazy, you know, Eloy Casagrande type stuff, but he knows how to make music that is doing very effing well. I mean, you know, it's not a... It's it's to the point where I mean is it's not even an argument. Metallica is the biggest band ever in history in the history of music. This is my opinion. You can disagree with me, and uh, please interact with me. You know, I love uh, reacting to these Ronnie reactions because it just opens up a conversation. And uh, we we will link Ronnie's information, and they are on tour right now. Go check them out on tour for real. Their show's incredible. Let's go. You guys. If you don't like it, it means it's bad. That's embarrassing, brother. That means your IQ is a little bit lower. You're not very aware of your surroundings. Different taste. I understand. If I, I, here's a good example. This is going to be a hot take, guys. Sleep token, not not a big fan. Not a big Me effing too. Me effing too. I, I think that it's like pop music. Like, And you know what drives me crazy is the metal fans, like the metal heads, are like praising Sleep Token, like there's some effing metal band. They are a pop R&B type of band that's fused in with metal aspects and look metal. But they are not like metal to me, and I don't get it. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of some shit that I listen to, like if I have a female with me, we're just chilling and maybe getting busy. Like, this is not the kind of music that... um I'm like crazy about it, obsessed about. And I did a whole video talking about Sleep Token too. Uh, it, that's very refreshing to hear from Ronnie uh, because at least I'm not effing going crazy, right? Or maybe we both are just effing crazy. <laughs> Let's continue. And if I, I, here's a good example. This is going to be a hot take, guys. Sleep Token, not, not a big fan. Not a big fan, sorry. However, understand why people like them. You, understand, you know what I mean? Uh, understand why they sell a lot of tickets. Understand why they sell a lot of merch. There's a mystique to them. Yes. They've got a great voice. Uh, the way they co compose their songs. It's fantastic, right? I don't like it. That would like that would be equivalent to me hearing it being going online being like, this is trash. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It's the same people that do this. They'll throw they do they deface my uh my thing and then they make it seem like people Never seen that. deface this because they hate me. But this is at one of the biggest festivals when we were pretty much the most scheduled band to watch on the Louder Than Life app. And the reason why this happened is because we didn't play it. Not because people didn't like us. This is the problem with the internet. Mm. And uh, I just want to say sorry about that, by the way, guys, that we didn't play. And we'll, we'll definitely be seeing you guys next year. It shit happens. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, that's just my opinion. It's not going to change how people view me. Just wanted to get it out there. Some of you guys are fucking stupid as shit. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for making my album go gold. This is fucking incredible. Congratulations, man. There are these hilarious Check moments that take place on social media that are so entertaining. And one of those happened today where... Once again, you have people saying like, oh, Ronnie fell off. He is, you're not going anywhere or whatever, as people will try to claim. And someone said, hey, is it true? Are the rumors true that you're going bankrupt? Now, mm. I don't know where people come up with this stuff at. I don't even know how you go from this guy doing crazy shows, crazy merch numbers to I heard that you're going um, bankrupt. Shout I think that people Rock just B. want to believe their own sort of, you know, whatever backs up how they feel about something, they want to try to justify it in their own mind. But Ronnie immediately comes out and uh, does something I can't say I've ever seen anybody do before. Dude straight up posted a screenshot of his account balance. So just the balance, nothing, no, no revealing information here. But um, he shared wow. how much money is in his account. 
And um, the reaction to it has Millions, been hilarious. But I've got it up on the screen. The only thing I'm showing you here, nothing else. Um, just this is this original video will be linked in the description. Shout out to my editor. He always puts together like a little mixtape of uh, you know clips and whatnot to react to. I'm trying to catch up with everything. As I said, like uh, I'm moving right now. The amount that he displayed publicly on his social media, and as you can see, it is a whopping. 10.4 almost 10.5 million dollars in the bank account and so yeah. the comments are ranging from people saying gangster laughing people loving it this person goes every post every further post convinces me this account is actually just run by ronnie <laughs> we're gonna end that right there you know ronnie Racky is a captivating guy you go and you look at this right here you can love him or hate him, but the facts are the facts. The music is fire. The visuals is, look at these visuals right here. I mean, it, do you think that he's getting millions of views because he goes on Instagram and he's responding to haters? No. Anyone that thinks that is delusional, mental, and you may need to go talk to your doctor and um, see if you know you're okay upstairs because at the end of the day you cannot deny let's say you don't even like the music let's say you're like yo fall reverse their music sucks they're they're trash right you watch his music videos you can't say now oh they, this video's trash right you you have to give him the props on the visual aspect of it right i mean how can you not I, I don't think it like you are kid. It's like there's no way anyone in their right mind could say I'm not impressed by the the visual aspect of the falling in reverse videos. It's like it's impossible. So it's just people hating, man. And uh, Ronnie, you keep doing your damn thing. If for some reason you're watching, I know some people watch these videos. Shout out to like. Alex Terrible, who checks in from time to time in the comments. Uh, we did do an unboxing on this uh, Unhappy Meal, uh, which was fantastic. And I'm so happy I bought this. So this Unhappy Meal made me very happy. I love the t-shirts. I wore one last night and um, was a big hit, big hit. Uh, watch my unboxing on this. And then also I did a reaction to some other fans because I was so curious to see what was inside. I said, why don't I react to someone uh, unboxing it? Uh, might as well, because people like watching these reactions. If you do, if you haven't hit the like, let me know by liking, because it lets me know to continue doing more of these Ronnie Radke reactions, falling in reverse reactions, and they are on tour right now, so check them out. I was not able to see them in North Carolina, uh because that's where i'm at now i'm a new york guy but you know we in north carolina now and um that's all i got man make sure to follow my social media it's all down here um except my instagram someone freaking hacked my instagram man they hacked it they changed the name i don't know how to get it back i had about 16 17 000 followers which is a lot for me you know i'm not uh Ronnie with millions, but you know, I, I just, it, that's a, a lot of people that enjoy checking out my Instagram and I lost that, which sucks, you know, for, for the people that want to stay in tune with everything I do. Um, this channel, Dell's Reacts, is strictly for fun. This is, we did this for fun and now people are, you know, tuned in. I have another channel where we do like fashion and sneakers and shit like that, uh, which is, um, has a big following, but you guys are very interactive. Especially the falling in reverse fans, uh, and I love that um, you guys enjoy these reactions. I don't think there's really many that do reactions to Ronnie, and um, you know I will continue doing them as long as y'all like, comment, share, and all that good stuff, and uh, follow my social. Once again, the Instagram for now is just Dell's Reacts, and we upload daily. So if uh, you don't get notified, just come back tomorrow. We did the new uh, Alex Terrible Slaughter to Prevail song. Check all that out. Dig into the channel. As I said, we upload daily. And there should be a playlist in a moment showing you guys more options, including more reactions to the great 
Ronnie Radke. Thanks for watching. You could be anywhere in the world and you hear with me and I appreciate it. And um, if you're still here with me, leave in the comments extra pepperoni pizza with four roaches on it. Let's me know that you've stayed to the end. You rock it with your boy Dells to the wheels fall off. And I appreciate that. Uh, join the membership. Subscribe. Like I think only like. 8% of the people that watch these videos is from subscriptions, which is so effing odd, uh, but that's just the way YouTube works. So subscribe and um, info in the description to more with Ronnie, all the credit, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rockfeed and everyone like that. Peace and love, guys. Have a great weekend. We out.